explanation. Uh, Q2, check if array pairs are divisible by k. So this one, you want to divide an array to exactly n over 2, right? So I guess actually you should have probably checked that n is even. Okay, n is even. But, but the idea here is greedy. Um, and do, what do I mean by greedy? What I mean by greedy is that anytime you can match two numbers, you match the two numbers. And... So what I did is that for every number, I converted to the number mod k, because that means that um, when you mod it by k, when two numbers add you to each other, then that will be those sum to k um, or zero, um, and that's pretty much my algorithm. So I do a count of all the, I keep track of a count of all the array, array elements mod k, and then if zero is in the array, or sorry, if zero is, is in the counter uh, or the hash table lookup, and we check that as a even number because if it's odd number, then then you know there's no two numbers to match with the zeros because they then you don't match. Uh, though I think it actually ends up not mattering because by the pigeonhole principle, that means that another number is not matched. But here, if x is greater than zero, then we just check that a sub x is um, matched with k minus x, right? And what that means is that, for example, for if you have a number, uh, let's just say, you know, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you can actually think of this as just actually odd evens, so that, you know, you could phrase it that way. So if, if you have odd even numbers, then, like, for example, if k is 2, then the number of even numbers have to be even because they have to match with each other, uh, and then the number of odd numbers also have to be even because they also have to match with each other. Um, Actually, hmm, maybe I messed that up for even numbers. Somehow it's still passed. But maybe that's just a little bit lucky. Hmm. Because I think if it's if x is equal to k minus x, you may have to check that. But I think it's also one of those pigeonhole principles why this accidentally works, is that because if it's odd number, that means another number is, has an odd pair out. Uh, and that's why this works. But you should be more careful and not, not did what I do. Um, but yeah, but let's say you have number 3 mod, right? Let's say k is equal to 3. Then you just mod everything by 3. And you have 1, 2, 0, uh, 1, 2, 0, right? So now we, we group them together. We have the two ones, the two twos, and then the two zeros, Oops. right? And then because this is even, you know, they all match with each other. They live happily ever after. Uh, and then the rest is that you know that if you have a one, you need a two to make, you know, the sum of the pair of them equal to zero. So that's pretty much the idea behind if they're equal to each other, then, um, or they're, if they're not equal to each other, then you can match them in any other way. Um, yeah. So the complexity of this is going to be O of n, uh, because for each element, you put it in a, hash table and then for each key which is less than um which is less than k to be honest um but for each key you just do these all one checks and that'll give you the answer and actually you don't even need a hash table you could have used um you could have used um an array but you know uh and in terms of space this is of n for this p set reason of this hash table um yeah so definitely um, an interesting poem. It's greedy, and there's some hash tables. So I guess definitely practice this for your interview. Uh, I 